morning everyone welcome to another episode of the monday coffee conversation definitely got mine going in this morning i hope you got yours let's get into the word as we look around us outside it, it is an absolutely beautiful morning today that's why we're a little late we wanted to get the sunshine up and, and just enjoy everything but it is gorgeous outside it's a little cool but from the looks of things, it's going to be a, uh, a beautiful day and warm up later. And we're just in that time of year of spring. We're, we're really into it now. Um, things are starting to green up. We've got daffodils. We've got tulips coming in. We've got all kinds of blooms out. There's a little bit of a negative about that, as you might can tell by hearing me talk, and I know some of y'all are suffering with some allergies right now, but from a look standpoint, it is the perfect time of year for everything coming anew and coming alive again. <clears throat> I want to share a scripture with you that kind of exp describes that, and it's from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 11 and 12, and it says, For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. Now, I'm not sure if a dove and a turtle dove is the same thing. I really have no idea, but I do know that I'm hearing doves again here at the house. Maybe in our area, the voice of the turtle dove could be the voice of the turkey, because hearing a lot of gobblers and and things like that this time of year but it's spring everything is coming alive everything brand new after a long cold winter and that relates a lot with our everyday life and with our spiritual life as well because some of us some of you may be coming out of a a long cold winter and things are starting to spring up things are starting to come alive again and that, that, that's a sermon on to its own. But I wanted to throw something out there. If we look at our own weather forecast right now, like today's supposed to be around 70, and for the next couple of days, we've had some beautiful weather the past week. But coming up in the next few days, a cold front's coming. A cold front is coming, and the temperatures are going to drop down in the 50s again for a high. It's not going to have big deep freezes at night, but it's not going to be the same type of weather that we're accustomed to for the last few days. And we just had that happen a couple of weeks ago. All these warm, sunny days and fairly warm mornings. And then on the Easter weekend, it was 29 degrees when we did the sunrise service. And for two or three days, we had some deep freezes. So we're in spring. But it don't mean that we're out of the woods yet as far as some cooler weather. But there's good even in that cooler weather. You might be liking the warmer days, but when the coolness comes again, the pollen level will drop a little. When the rain comes, it knocks the pollen all down, and for two or three days, the air is clear, so your allergies aren't bothered as bad. The cooler weather keeps the bugs down. You know, I've already seen waspers and and all kinds of bumblebees and things like that. But when the cooler weather comes, it keeps those things at bay for a little while longer. So even in the cool spots, there's still things that are good to, to look at. And that's what, another thing I wanted to bring up. You're coming out of this cold, dark winter. Whatever it is in your life is starting to break free. Whatever it is you've been going through, suffering with, is starting to break loose and things are starting to look up and look better but every now and again we're still going to have a cold front come in we're still going to have those days when things don't look as bright maybe the wind is up a little too much or maybe it's raining on our day but there's still good things to look at you know the word tells us to be thankful for all things to be thankful for our trials and tribulations to be thankful when things come against us that may not be perfect. And in Ecclesiastes, there's a whole list of things that there is a time for. Even in our times when things aren't great, we can still find good in God. Just like even during these cold fronts in the spring, we may not exactly like them, but there's good things about them because the pollen levels and the insects and the bugs and the bees, they drop. 
when we're going through our own little spiritual cold front during a, a time when everything is good, we can still find things to praise God for. Sometimes the only thing that we can find in our own mind to praise God for is just the opportunity to grow closer to Him. Sometimes we have to peel back all the bad things and look really intently to find something to be thankful for, to find something to praise God for. In, in the winter time, when it was cold and everything was froze up and it was snowing like crazy, it might have been hard to have a good day weather-wise might have been hard to find any enjoyment in any of that. But if we look closely, some of those days when the sky was so gray, every now and again the sun would pop through for a little while. I noticed a few times that when the wind was really, really bad this winter and it was so cold, when the wind would stop, it would almost feel like a summer day just because it wasn't as cold as it was a few minutes before. So we have to look at things, even during the cold fronts, and during the rough times, there's still things to find to praise God for. Now, we're glad spring is here. We like colder weather. We like the fall. We Summer's probably our least favorite just because of the high, hot temperatures. But I love the spring. I love our going out every morning and every evening and check on all the flowers and the blooms and what's up today that wasn't up yesterday. I love seeing all this stuff come back to life. But I know that in a couple of days, I'm not going to be wearing shorts. I'm going to have to put some, some jeans or something on for a couple of days because it's going to drop down. And I could get all depressed about that. And man, I hate this. Can't wait till this is over. And we, we do that often. I can't wait till this is over. And I remember growing up, used to hear a saying, don't wish your life away. When you were nine years old, just starting Little League, I can't wait till I'm 12, so I can be the one of the best in the league. When you're in seventh grade, I can't wait till I'm in high school. When I'm high school, can't wait to drive. I can't wait till I graduate. I can't wait till this, till that. And we're always so focused on looking ahead and getting past something that we forget to look around at where we're at right now. So even if you're still going through a little bit of that winter, or even if you've come out of it, but there's a cold spell coming through in your life, something has showed up that has knocked you back down a little bit, don't wish your life away. Don't just look so forward to coming out of it that you don't look at what is still there in front of you to find to give glory to God. Whenever we're going through something, we can always praise God for bringing us out of the things that we have before. Whenever it looks cold and dark outside, we can praise God for when some light comes through or when that breeze stops and makes everything feel so much better. So even though there may be some, some rough days ahead, try to look through all of that and find something to praise God for. Because there's always, always something to give God praise. Always something to where we can raise our hands to Him and thank Him for it even if it's just the opportunity to grow closer to you. We hope you guys have enjoyed this. We hope it, it sticks in your brain so when, when those things do come back, that we'll know to look for something, to look to God and give Him praise. Because even if nothing else, even if no situation changes, you start praising God, I guarantee you, you will feel better. The situation may not have changed a bit, but the presence of God will come upon you and your feelings and your the way you look at things even though it may be temporary it will get better just from the act of praising God and focusing on you we'll see you guys next time on the Monday Coffee Conversation